Hello, NGFL fans. Welcome to the Season 2 Awards Ceremony. This is to show the greatness of our new generation community and its fans. We have a few awards to designate the best players in our game. The first award will be the Defensive Rookie of the Year. The Defensive Rookie of the Year is Kyle Lockhart, defensive end from the Rapid City Falcons. The former fifth round pick in the season two draft put up 34 tackles and 19 sacks this season. A definite dominant performance by Lockhart. And now, the offensive rookie of the year, Akaji Adebowale is the NGFL rookie of the year. He dominated statistically all season, was named to the Pro Bowl and won player of the game for the Pro Bowl. Malcolm Middlebrooks is the Offensive Player of the Year. He had 3,260 yards and 25 touchdowns while only throwing four interceptions. Your Defensive Player of the Year is a returning face. Once again, Kyle Lockhart winning an award, this time Defensive Player of the Year for the whole league. A dominating season to be sure, though he is available in the expansion draft. After an average season for the Jackson Crabs in season one, Javon Payne was drafted by the Flint Firebirds in the expansion draft. He took off this year and had 98 tackles, and he wins most improved player. The best call up from the ASFL this season was Steven Sanders, who was a running back from the Indianapolis Cyclones. Once he was signed up, he was one of the bright spots on an otherwise insignificant Cyclones team. And now for one of the most illustrious awards, the Chad Smith Memorial Man of the Year Award. Before he was taken away in a tragic car accident, Chad Smith was one of the most brilliant men that the league has ever known. And now, the winner of the award. And the winner of the Chad Smith Man of the Year Award is Lancer's cornerback Kurt McDuffie for everything that he did in his community this season. The coach of the year is Jake Mullinow from the Green Bay Wolfpack. He took his team from winless last year to making the playoffs with a 7-4 record. The executive of the year is GM and owner of the Jackson Crabs, Noah Underhill, taking his team from one win all the way to a championship game. Led by first-round draft pick Akaji Adebowale, one of the best picks of the draft, he is definitely the executive of the year. And now the award you have all been waiting for, the Season 2 NGFL MVP. Hugo Zachary, the quarterback from North Texas, via the Houston Voyagers, was signed by the Falcons this offseason and led them to the playoffs. He won NGFL MVP by throwing 34,000 yards, 27 touchdowns, and only 11 interceptions for the Falcons this year. We thank you for coming to this short ceremony for the New Generation Football League. We thank you for all your support this year and hope that you will continue to stay with us into the next season.